equipment, they could recreate the equipment to read, read the information. So I think, I'm trying to remember my next slide out of my brain. <laughs> oh, look, we're almost there too. Okay, can I drive now or no? I can drive now, cool. All right, let me keep going. And I have three minutes left. Woo. All right, y'all. I said I can drive, but not yet. It's not letting me, oh, oh, yep. Okay, that looks, looks familiar to you. Ooh, yes, we're almost there, y'all. We went on this little journey together. I am pressing the button. Yeah. Oop. Aha, there we are, the clay tablets. So uh, again, once you have these, our analogous uh, story for these is those M disks I was talking about. So here is what we typically see that I was describing to you where you have something that costs roughly, on our scenario, $40,000 to set up and another $40,000 to set up your backup. But there's a way to do it for less money. It buzzes when you press it, and I was expecting something. There we go. That's what I was trying to describe. Five, so five, eight terabyte sections. As you build those up, you pull them out and you copy them over, um, and that costs about an uh, order of magnitude less. So that's about $4,000 to do there. So at TaxonWorks, as a specific example, we have uh, data going something like that. Currently, we're at about five terabytes. So we're you know, looking at exponential uh, data growth of this kind of data. And we currently have hourly backups. They are in our space, remotely, and down in Argentina as well. And it took a team of all of us deciding, designing how this was going to work. We don't have a specified sysadmin. And we did then share this scenario with the department leadership. There's about 600 people working for the Prairie Research Institute. And we're just at the early stages of understanding the data needs for our entire institute under these same uh, kinds of problems that we're going to know that we face. So with that, I'm happy to take questions. And I have one minute and 30 seconds left or something like that. Yes. Place that the files are like a working spot that the files are in, so, so they're backed up where you. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm hi, Leanne. Leanne from Manaki Um So, do you have so this is the backup, and then you have like a server with the working version of the files to access? Yeah, I think that's that instantaneous sort of they're getting copied as they're written. So, but then at like midnight, everything that was there, right? So, the next day becomes you get this everything stored by time, mm -hmm. right? So you don't go back and change that past one. You just make a new revision and... And, and actively work on it. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And I'd be happy to talk to you more about pointing to you, colleagues, if you want to know more about the technical details of this. And we have um, Taxon Works Together coming up in October. Everybody's welcome to come, and you could talk to any of these individuals uh, or any time, Slack, GitHub, et cetera. Any other questions? Because our data piles are getting bigger, right, y'all? They are. We're not, I don't know if we're at the zettabyte yet, but the, they're definitely going like this. Right. Thank you.